there are ghosts when they go under a tree looking for shelter the shelter disappears when they go near a river or water water turns into blood for the people who have passed away we can't give anything from our hand we can only share a merit the merit shared from the donations given to the noble disciples of the buddha will be received by the departed relatives right away they will enjoy happiness for a long time you can share merit to give happiness to your departed relatives that's the best way that's the one and only way the divine beings who are bound to that river rejoice in that merit and they develop in divine happiness and they help that person if you want to be protected by devas share merit with them let's dedicate our life each and every moment each and every second and live a decent life with the help of the buddha's teachings now buddhaya teruvan saranai dear children have you been waiting to listen to the uh, next sermon because we have been learning about stories of ghosts and uh, i hope you all have changed by now and living a virtuous life i advise to a daughter most of the uh, devotees or most of the students in the dhamma school are daughters today the daughters will be very happy because this advice is straight away to a daughter but let's see whether this daughter has done a mistake or what kind of advice is this this advice was given by the buddha the compassionate buddha the fearless teacher who had no uh, stress who was free from lust and delusion who realized the four noble truths without the guidance of a teacher without the guidance of a teacher who became an incomparable teacher to tame others who became a teacher for gods and humans so from a, such a great person if a daughter is getting an advice how amazing and how meritorious that daughter is so buddha was making a daughter's mind uh, calming a daughter's mind she was not happy so this advice was given by the buddha after the blessed one had his arms food let's read this listen to this unselfish people give gifts to virtuous people with the intention of sharing merit with departed relatives departed relatives uh, unselfish people give food to uh, virtuous people with the intention of uh sharing good karma merit with the people who have passed away because for the people who have passed away we can't give anything from our hand we can only share a merit like for an example uh, one day when a ship was uh, broken in the middle of the uh, sea the captain so uh, a beautiful mansion and then the captain uh, spoke to the person in the mansion and then that person was naked did not have clothes to wear or she was not wearing any clothes then the captain tried to give a cloth to the uh, to that girl uh, but then she said you know i can't take anything that is given by your hands but i can uh, get clothes there's a way you know what's the way that demon told the captain to offer those clothes to a person in the ship that person was observing five precepts and then to share that merit with the ghost then that captain bade him and offered those clothes to that uh, person he was a barber and then just after sharing just after offering that to that barber and sharing merit to that with that demon that demon was dressed with clothes so you can share merit to give happiness to your departed relatives that's the best way that's the one and only way then uh in the story it says uh with the intention of sharing merits with departed relatives in the ghost world or deities who live in their houses people give dana people give food to share merit with the deities or with the uh, departed relatives whoever it is those who share their merits with kuvera tatarat virupak and 
virulna deities those are those are the they are the four guardian devas they rule the chatur maharajika divine world the powerful four great kings who guard this world will receive great benefits weeping sorrow and lamentation will not benefit departed relatives in any way now some people after people some people after their relatives die what do they do they cry but uh, what would those departed relatives get by crying nothing the people who cry will become thin and the people who see the people who are crying will also feel sad and the departed relatives will get nothing so then what happens weeping sorrow and lamentation will not benefit departed relatives in any way they will remain in the ghost world no matter how much we cry the merit shared from the donations given to the noble disciples of the buddha will be received by the departed relatives right away they will enjoy happiness for a long time one day one person was given a task by the king and uh, by a king and then he could not fulfill that so he was helpless then what he did he went to the forest to find some special clay but he could not find then uh, he had a food packet so he opened the food packet and and before he ate the food packet he threw some food to the river and uh, shared merit with if there are any devas nagas bound to this river may they rejoice in this merit i offered some food to the fish and the beings in the water so by the power of that merit may all the divine beings and nagas rejoice in this merit and may they help me what happened the divine beings who were bound to that river rejoice in that merit and they develop in divinely happiness and they help that person see sharing merit will never be negative doing good deeds will never be a negative thing so if you like if you want to be protected by devas share merit with devas when you share merit with devas and also with the departed relatives they will rejoice in that especially when you share merit with devas they will look after you like a mother looks after her one and only child therefore do merit and share merit because ghosts are innocent helpless and they'll become more evil and arrogant when they live a fearful life and a sad life and a life that is no food no water no shelter you know there are ghosts when they go under a tree look looking for shelter the shelter disappears when they go look for a cool place what happens a uh, hot hot air flows and then like because of the hot breeze their bodies get burned when they go near a river or water water turns into blood so this human life that is very short let's dedicate our life each and every moment each and every second for wholesome that is good for you and that is good for others and live a decent life with the help of the buddha's teachings namo buddhaya teruvan saranai